In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the speed and upper set points of an MCD American Series manual roller shade with internal adjustment wheels. I know these are internal because it looks like this right here on the end of it. An external wheel looks like this. It has one that you can physically turn by hand. Physically. So, and you can find that in another video. But in today's video, we're talking about this one here with internal wheels. And something good to know is with any of our products, and this one's no different, if the material comes off the back side of the roller, you'll find your black wheel on the left and your gray wheel on the right. You can see that here. Over here, this one comes off the front. You've got the black wheel on the right. This one comes off the back. you got your black wheel on the left. So this case here, they're both coming off the back. They're both going to be on the left. We're going to find both gray wheels on this side here. The black wheels adjust the speed. The gray wheels adjust where it stops at the top. And you can turn your black wheels clockwise to speed it up, counterclockwise to slow it down. And once you've got your attention the way you like it, that's when you want to go set the gray wheels. So let's see what this shade's doing. All right, that shade's going at a fairly decent speed. I'm going to slow that one down a little bit, though. And it's going up too high. And obviously, this one's going really slow. And it's not going up high enough. So I'd like to show you two different ways to do this. I'd like to show you one way to do this in your, by your hands without any tools, but only if you can reach it. And a lot of times you can only do this to the bottom roller uh, because the top roller is just a little too hard to reach. But a lot of times you can get in here like this and do this. So what I'd like to do is slow this shade down. And again, it's going kind of fast and it's stopping too high. So what I'm going to do, I want to adjust this by hand. So I'm going to lock the shade down a little bit. I don't have to pull it all the way down, just get it off that upper set point over there. And once I do, I want to press the wheel in and then roll the shade down. And again, you can get it, you can just get way over here like this and just barely press it in. A lot of people have the room, a lot of people don't, but if you do, you can slow it down that way. Lock it in, press the wheel in, and roll it up or down to add or uh, add tension or take tension away. If you roll it up, you'll speed it up. If you roll it down, you'll slow it down. So let's see where that's at. I like that speed, but it's stopping too high. So since I've made it this far and I'm adjusting, and my goal is to adjust this uh, by my hands without taking it out of the valance, what I do is reach my finger up here, grab the bottom of the hem rail, press that wheel in, and turn it down. Once I get it where I like it, I'm going to let go of both of them. And now the stage should come up nice and mellow now that i got the speed set right and stop exactly where I want it. So let's check this one here out. This one here is going pretty slow, and it's not stopping high enough. So I'm going to adjust this roller, like the instructions will tell you, and they're going to tell you to use a flathead screwdriver. So when you do that, this is what most people are going to have to do no matter what. So you have to take your shade out of the balance and do what I'm doing now. So And you can do this on your table or a bench or a test station like this. So what you want to do to add tension is press the wheel in, and turn your wheel clockwise. That's gonna add tension. If you turn it counterclockwise, that's gonna slow it down. Something good to know, much like this method here by hand, it, if you press this black wheel in after you've locked the shade in and you roll the shade up, you'll speed it up. If you roll the shade down with the black wheel, you're slowing it down. So let's see what that speed's doing. Yeah, I like it. Now I just need to adjust where it stops at the top. So since I've got the speed the way I like it, all I need to do is come over here to the gray wheel press it in, not just press it to it, but physically press it in, and I can roll it up. And I can see in real time where the shade's going to stop. So if I wanted it to stop here, then I could do that. If I wanted it to come higher, I just press it in, roll it up, let it go, and it'll stop there every time. So this shade is adjusted. It's, it's, it's running just like I like it. It's stopping at some good points. That shade's adjusted. So that's how you adjust the speed and the upper set points of an MCD American Series manual roller shade that has internal adjustment wheels like these. 